Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to save money on a tight budget. If you guys are new to the channel, we usually talk about a lot of things when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. Our personal finance, um, our journey to achieve fire as well. We're currently living in Brisbane, family of four, two kids in age and eight and nine. <laughs> so if you are new, if you are new when it comes to personal finance, I guess this is our personal take on it, mm. how we do things, um, and I guess uh, more like little tips and tricks. In this yes. So um, the first one will be um, if you're on a tight budget, maybe have a separate and automate your saving. We do this mm. every time we get paid, well, especially on my side anyway. So on a certain day, I get paid, let's say midweek or something, and then. I, I leave it for about two or three days on the first Friday, let's mm. say. Um, this gives me a buffer just in case if there's a public holiday, they might run the pay run a little bit later than oh. schedule. Mm -hmm. um, wait until on the Friday, and then on the Friday, that's when I automated my auto trend, auto saving, let's say. Mm. Yeah. Um, that gives me, um, I guess, a buffer. Hey, I need a certain dollar figure that goes to my emergency fund like mm -hmm. for the house um for the kids saving account for um investment big, yeah mm. big ticket items like investing mm. as well so we're trying to automate that mm. by the weekend <laughs> by yesterday, you got no more money i got nothing <laughs> every week you, you you sound very poor but <laughs> but it is um a slow process that's what we've mm -hmm. been doing for a long time Make sure automate your money to put it in a saving account. Otherwise, you will never have anything saved up. That's it. So yeah. I feel like if by doing that, it's forced habit. Of yeah. The first thing I gotta do yeah. is save money. And you get whatever leftover for your own spending. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, Simple. And it's for you. Do you do it? As well I do auto transfer as well, but mine is going to the grocery shopping and kids' mm -hmm. activity. One side and the other side is um, automate to my super. Yeah, I contribute well. extra yep. uh, after pocket mm -hmm. to my super. The other one would be mm. running up to transaction. So, for example, mm. if you're buying in petrol station um, instead of you know point or four dollars fifty or something, mm -hmm. um, so you run it up to the nearest dollar. Yeah, um, and then that goes to automate um, to your saving account. Look, it might not mm. mean much. Maybe it's only a couple of cents here and there, but mm. it gives you the momentum and understand it's like okay i can afford mm -hmm. at the end of the day is this amount oh it turned out to be i can save one or two dollars in the beginning mm -hmm. but later on you can ramp that up to you know the, to the nearest ten dollars mm -hmm. instead of the nearest cents yep. ten dollars or, or one dollar ten dollars twenty fifty a hundred mm. so yeah, that i used to do that mm -hmm. and then realizing it goes you know what i'm just gonna bite the bullet and just go straight automatic transfer this i amount. think it's just creating a habit at the beginning yep. it, i think it's the hardest side when we first started mm -hmm. mm. next is looking for ways to reduce your spending yeah for example we we may need to um reduce our grocery bills yeah so we sign up with costco yes <laughs> <laughs> at first we we're, were like oh pay 65 dollars um is it really worth for the membership and a few months later we upgrade it to the executive member which means um whatever i think you will get 0.2 percent or two percent back for whatever you spend mm -hmm. so but then it is going to be higher membership fees double of it which is 130 dollars but for us still worth it for family of four we normally go there once, once in fortnight. fortnight yeah yeah minimum. or at the very least when wherever we have to go past Costco on the way to do a certain activity yes example yesterday yeah. uh, we plan a day trips with the kids going to the beach and then on the way home it's mm. like well there's costco on the way home yeah i feel like it's such a waste if we're not going to stop by at costco mm -hmm. otherwise if we have to make a trip down there again it's wasting time yeah it's i think that's where you get you because whenever you go there it's so far away for us yeah have to like, get it and then yesterday i said oh something on on a discount i get it like oil i can keep mm -hmm. it for some time it's on on sale mm -hmm. i'll get it and right. then um like yesterday bought some and food drinks. as well and it drinks and i i never rarely i rarely buy any drinks mm -hmm. and i compare the price compared to normal supermarket that supermarket was on half price and then in costco retail price but still cheaper i know i'm buying a lot more but it's going to have a longer expiry date anyway so yeah. that's how we try to save money on costco 
another way of doing it is actually plan ahead, mm. um, write down a list. A shopping list. <laughs> shopping list yeah. and like actually what you're going to buy. Mm. The way we do this is actually do an online shopping uh, direct to boot. Oh, yeah, that's another one within the other supermarket. So yeah. we normally for supermarket is anything on half price. Yeah. Or and something essential. What we found mm. is if you're going to go by aisle by aisle, you're mm. going to have a compo compulsive, like, like you end up going, ooh, this one's yeah something different. But mm. when we go direct to boot, you don't have I don't to look at anything. anything I just want half um, price. yeah half price or something essential. Yeah. Another one would be uh, meal prepping. Mm. Um, you started doing this with buying in bulk, for example, kids sandwiches. Mm. <laughs> we understand like okay, then we're gonna make at least three sometimes. Mm -hmm. One of them for me, one, mm. of, uh, one each for our kids. Yep. And you prep them for you know two or three days or so, mm -hmm. freeze them up, um, and yeah, those are the one that I've noticed with you. Uh, yep. Or yeah. sometimes, um, uh, end of the week, um, I tend to see what's in the fridge. Let me try to use all the ingredients. Otherwise, we'll be chucking away and someone will be very angry. Kind of don't like chucking away any ingredients. Yep. So try to make the most of your food. Yep. And one is eat less meat. Yep. So I try to have some, you know, chickpea or black bean. Our son loves it too. And well, it, that's how I feel like is meat is so expensive. <laughs> It's so expensive, especially red meat, like beef and lamb. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one would be compare unit price. Now, I didn't understand this beforehand. You still don't really get it. <laughs> but now I kind of do. Beforehand, I just look at the price. Hey, this one's cheaper. And then turn out to be if you buy it in bulk per unit price, it's actually a lot more cheaper compared to mm. the actual special. So. Yeah, I think, but you have to make sure we can finish it. Sometimes mm -hmm. we bought something too much, too big, didn't like it, and no one want to eat it. It's a, it, it's a waste. It. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, the uh, the other one would be this one's probably your favorite. Huh? Oh, grow it yourself. Yes. So currently we we have this veggie patch. Um, we grew we growing tomato, lettuce. Um, sometimes bought the bok choy from the market. I just chop it, put the put the, the bottom bit the bottom bit back in the the soil. It grow again. Yeah. And then now we um saw on videos we bought this um vertical garden uh, yeah. tower thing um still not there yet we'll see because i feel like um we eat more veggie and herbs when we have um fresh one at home yeah um we try save, to... save a lot more money too in terms yeah. of the herbs and spice, uh, herbs yeah definitely mm -hmm. lettuce mm -hmm. um like we at least before we throw in them out we are, uh, we have like three times three reproduction time mm -hmm. before we throw them out like shallot for example mm. we chop in the like three yeah times so yeah keep on regrowing, growing. Mm -hmm. So, um, the next one would be reducing your electricity bill. Um, for me, it would be putting solar if you have the budget of doing this. It is a big yeah. investment. And if you're thinking of staying in the same property for more than 10 years or so, because mm. it is a big commitment. Mm -hmm. um, the other one would be like if you can, obviously, not using the, use the dryer. Um, at the moment, it's raining. It is a little bit hard. We don't have a dryer in our home. No, we don't have a dryer. We haven't had haven't haven't had a dryer for over ten years, and it doesn't bother us. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then now we install like a this drying rack inside yeah, the laundry. Just put it inside if it rains. If it is sunny, we put it outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have a mobile dryer also. So um, if we need to, then we pull that one out as well. Yeah. So. Um, another one would be, well, for us, because we have solar, we're probably thinking of taking out the gas in our stove. Oh, yes. Um, probably in the next a few months or so, maybe mm. give it about 12 months and disconnect that. So Yeah, currently we're just using um, those little portable electric stove and see if it works for us. Mm -hmm. um, so far, so good. Feel feel like um, it's going, it's a lot faster compared to gas. Yeah, I find it, mm. it is. Mm. So, um, another one would be swap. Uh, to a cheaper option. Yep. For example, gym. I used to join gym like 10 years ago. But it was $30 a week. And now I heard is of course, it's going higher. Mm -hmm. But then um, because now we, we have a house and then we bought uh, like uh, have space and got our own weight and dream gym equipment. Um, streaming services mm -hmm. is another option. Um, you don't have to have all of them. Um, you probably only need one. I mean, if you have multiple streaming options, you actually have the time to watch all of them. I think if you have more than one, then you spend too much on screen time. 
food deliveries. I must admit, the both of us, we haven't used food deliveries. I think mm. we've only done it twice. Once or twice. Last time was our friends were here. We're too lazy to get out. Yeah. Yeah. Did we? Yes. Okay, gotcha. I, I can't that remember. was the last time I remember. Mm -hmm. mm. We rarely get takeaway. We don't, I don't know, we, we just shop and I, I don't mind pre preparing food. It's not a chore for me. Getting mm. out is another option as well. Mm. You know, a typical dine out for us roughly costs us about $100 per sitting. Yes. Um, for and us. it's mm. going to get higher and higher. Mm. You know, with that $100, probably equivalent to maybe two or three mm. days worth of food. If you yes, them, yes, if you yes. Them. Yeah, just so. one meal and then equivalent to, let's say, two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah. Um, considering um, traveling, when you're traveling, this makes it hard for us because we do like to travel. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But now having, um, I guess, growing children, we're looking at local travel instead of flying. International. International. Yeah, tickets are not cheap. And then last year we went back to Hong Kong and Indonesia. It was ridiculous. <laughs> We, and we, we were traveling in December, so can't find anywhere yeah. cheaper. A transportation, on the mm. other hand, it might be one of the biggest costs out there. Now, we, we weigh off the options. Mm. However, now we're driving an electric car. Um, I work from home. Work from home. Mm. And we're looking at the running cost of an electric car uh, versus petrol car. It is a lot smaller. Okay. I'll say it's like having solar panel. Yeah. It's a big investment at the beginning but then your cost um will be going lower each year or it just even it out i'll say i feel like the running of an electric car um you really it's a prepaid service let's say mm, um mm. because you pay a big lump sum at front mm. versus like hey a few hundred dollars for a service here a few hundred yep. dollars there the maintenance is not cheap for Correct. a petrol car. So for us, for example, so far the twenty thousand Ks, um, I think it's roughly about one hundred dollars. From yeah, from maintenance. The physical maintenance of yeah. it. Um, if that was a, a typical um petrol engine mm. car, it's probably about four hundred dollars per service. Mm. Um, in two service, so that's about eight hundred dollars or so. Mm. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, that's just based on our take, based on our personal experience as well. Mm. Um, another one would be for your gas and electricity. Shop around. We oh, did. Well, we, yeah, we did. The solar <laughs> and then now we're thinking to cut down the gas. Mm. Yeah. So for our, our electricity bill beforehand, we were on one service provider. Mm. I wasn't happy because I didn't have enough data on that. Oh, and mm. they're just charging us based on whatever. And they don't notify us get yeah, hey here are the options for you to mm. in order for you to get it cheaper mm. um and we find a different service provider mm. that is a little bit more helpful um and yeah that's how i found um this the reason why i change provider right. but then before you change it i think you have to check quite a lot they have yeah. this cancellation fee discount that fee yeah, so it is a few hundred dollars there but no, it, yeah, I find that like if you're going to do that, at least have at least 12 months of data or so. Mm. And then from there, you figure out is it worth for you to change it around or not. Mm -hmm. um, what I like with the current one, it's a flat rate. Every month is the same mm. figure. And then if it's, um, if they overcharge us, let's say, mm. um, we can have a credit on that. Yep. Or on the interest. Next one. Yeah, and yeah. interest is actually being added on top. Mm -hmm. um, if it's undercharge us over the 12 months, then they can give us a bill. Yeah um insurance company yeah you... oh we, we we check it every year mm -hmm. right like how insurance you change it the home insurance i didn't change it but next year i'll start checking um the other one is per like health insurance yep. we used to have um extra yep. for because we wear glasses and then we go dental check quite mm -hmm. often but now i check the figure it's not really worth for us to have the extra so we just back on the hospital, the hospital only Mm. So we did the math on this, like, mm. well, with the glasses as well as dental, we'd rather pay off, pay it off. Full price. Full yeah. price. So, I mean, each to their own. Uh, this is based on our data. Our experience. Our experience as well. mm. And internet and phone plan. To be honest with you, I do check this in a regular basis. However, currently we're on a very dinosaur plan and mm. then realizing some plan out there now, if I were to switch, I have to pay on, on what is the current rate or mm. current retail price. I decided to keep our very old plan. 
That's good. <laughs> so overall, and mm. it's having a saving plan and have it some sort of goal. Yeah, how what... much do you want? What are you saving it for? Mm-hmm. Um, how long are you going? Like set a time frame as well. Otherwise, it will never happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, if you keep on saying, "Yeah, hey, I'm going to save next week or next page, mm-hmm. next page," mm-hmm. it'll never happen. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's what I've experienced mm-hmm. personally. Well, um, when we were well, when I was in my twenties, yeah, and now it's like, nope. First thing, got to save first before I pay anyone else. Mm-hmm. So, um, if you like this type of content, guys, don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you next time. Bye.